Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to discuss the average function which is a chart and script function. So average is a very very common function within ClickSense or any other spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel or any programming language because mostly our business users are interested in let's say average sales, average order value, average profit, things like that and then they basically compare the other metrics with the average whether we are going above the average whether we are going below the average how we are doing it so average within click sense you can use or you can implement in the back end in the script or in the front end as well so let's see first how we can implement in the script so over here we have the data of a table where we have the customer information the month and sales are in a cross tab as you can see and that's why the cross table function is used to straight or straighten up the jan fab march in a column order so this way we will get a flat structure which click sense expect to do the analysis so let's go ahead and uh, implement the average function so let's say what we want is uh, average sales value for each customer so Let's create one table sales underscore average and uh, now let's load the information which is customer because we need average sales by customer. So this customer is over here and then the AVG function and say sales average sales and we need to give this new function this average sales some name. So using the alias keyword we will give the name average underscore sales because that's what it indicates right and uh, we are referencing these columns like sales and customer from the temp table so we will say resident temp to to create a connection between these two tables or reference the earlier loaded table and group by since we are using an aggregation function we need to group by based on the various dimensions which are present so customer and that is it uh, we'll hit save and we can load we need to load the data let's close let's click on analysis and create a table over here add a dimension which is customer add one more column and a dimension itself because we have already calculated the average of sales so average sales this is the average sales for each customer or average sales value for each customer and the same column or the same information can be done in the front end using the same AVG function. So you can come over here, uh, add column and click on measure. And uh, over here, sales for the sales field, we have the average sales over here. And as you can see, both are same. And the only difference is that you get the total also. That means the total average sales because that is the calculation which is happening in the front end. So, so basically you can now uh, you have now seen you how you can apply both uh, in the back end and as well as in the front end and what is the difference another difference is uh, that uh, in the back end when it is back end the calculation is part of the back end then the the calculation is becoming a part of the engine that means the calculation is not happening in the front end so whenever you do any selection you know uh, the engine don't have to calculate as compared to the front end calculation because this is already been done in the back end and uh, any reason uh, where you just need to use the static value let's say for a static kpi or for a static table i highly recommend that uh, you do the calculation in the back end so that you have a better experience in the front end but that's about how you can uh, calculate the average sales now in the back end or in the front end you have some keyword like in the back end you have only distinct keyword that you can use but in the front end um, for this table if I select and go into the expression mode you have other features as well like set expression you already have discount distinct which is in the back end as well but you have all keyword you have total keyword so all of that uh, extra flexibility is given because uh, you you have a business to support and you need more and more customization as the business is advancing their analysis needs and uh, you can you can get the output what you need 
So that's about it for this video and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.